And now back here at home, a big headline turning up and the heat is on on the gun debate in America. Today we learned Facebook and Instagram will crack down on the number of illegal guns sold online, some of them weapons bought by children. ABC's senior justice correspondent Pierre Thomas showing us what's behind this decision. How you doing, man? You're looking at the sale of an AK-47 assault rifle in an Arizona fast food parking lot. It came less than an hour after Fusion reporter Mariana Van Seller saw it for sale on the Internet. No background check, no questions asked. Critics say social media sites like Facebook and Instagram are becoming virtual gun stores, giving potentially easy access to juveniles and criminals. The Internet dwarfs all the gun shows in America now as a potential source of firearms. It is difficult to police the Internet. Check out this on Instagram. Lots of guns to choose from. All kinds of handguns and assault rifles just to touch or click away. Today, Instagram and Facebook announced a series of steps to try to make sure social media gun buyers and sellers follow the law. Facebook will block access to gun sale posts to users 18 and under. Remove gun sale postings that promote sales without background checks. It will tell users that internet gun sales crossing state lines must go through a licensed firearms dealer. The head of the NRA's New York affiliate warned that the policy could be used to silence gun enthusiasts on social media. This is something that could greatly get out of control very quickly. But gun control supporters say additional restrictions might save lives, preventing dangerous scenarios like when a 15-year-old Kentucky boy bought this semi-automatic handgun through Facebook and took it to school. Pierre Thomas, ABC News, Washington.